what you're watching is freedom. But is it liberty? Scripture says, stand fast in the liberty. Which, yeah, baby, stand fast in the liberty wherewith Christ has set you free and not be entangled again in the yoke of bondage. We have a statue of freedom. Nope. We have a statue of liberty. So what's the difference between freedom and liberty? Excellent question. How are we going to understand this verse if we don't know the difference between freedom and liberty? So when the doors are open, the captives, quote unquote, are set free. But are they at liberty? When the constant, well, when the Declaration of Independence, excuse me, says life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, one of the definitions of liberty is to be able to pursue God, pursue your ambitions, pursue your all that's in you to the fullest and absolute extent. That's liberty. So when the gates are open, when the prison cell is open, you're free. But are you at liberty? For example, if you if you step out of that cell, will you be executed? If uh, will you be limited as to where you can go and what you can do? Will you be um, will you be bound in any way? So look at the let's look at the yoke of bondage. The yoke is that that restraining that 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 binder that the the horse or the oxen will push against when they're pulling the plow or pulling the the wagon or the uh whatever carriage whatever it's got to pull it pushes against that yoke it's restrained it's bound it's it's held in by that yoke and it's in the bondage of those of those straps so when you're in the yoke of bondage you're not free to be able to move you're constrained you're imprisoned in that yoke of bondage. You don't have a choice. That is who we are when we're lost. We are the children of the enemy, of wickedness, of evil. We think we're free. We think we're making our own choices. We think we have, we have the, the freedom to be able to do whatever we want to do and express and find ourselves. No, we're in bondage. We just don't see it. We just don't recognize it until, until the Holy Spirit begins to draw us and open us up and we see that we're actually enslaved to our sin. We're in a yoke of bondage. We're entangled in it. This verse says to be free. Not only has the gate been opened by the cross of Jesus, not only has he shed his blood for the full forgiveness and remission of sin, but he set us at liberty to be able to pursue him, to be able to, to go after him until all the fullness is recognized. We're on this side of the grave. We can hear in our mind's eye. We can hear in our mind's eye. We can hear in our mind. Well done, good and faithful servant. We can pursue him. So stand fast in the liberty. Do not give up your liberty. Do not let sin and the enemy rob you of the joy of your liberty. Stand fast in the liberty because Christ has set you free. It's up to you to walk in the liberty. You've been set free. And don't return to the yoke of bondage. Don't go back to your sin. Don't let it take you. Be free. Amen. Beautiful sunrise. Amen. Amen indeed.